Hey everyone, this is Mr. Ad Oil again, helping you fight your today for your better tomorrow. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick uh, summary of my entire job search and a couple of stats. So for some context, I started my job search um, early May 2019, and then I ended it mid-July 2019. We're gonna talk about my entire job search from how I leverage recruiters, how I searched for my, for my primary job, which was for software developer roles, and how I searched for um, secondary job roles, which was being a product manager, and lastly, other roles that I searched for that were like non-customer-facing roles or a customer-facing technical role. So first, I kinda wanna talk about recruiters. First of all, I don't really like working with recruiters. They're basically salespeople. They only care about you if they can make a quick sales. And during the entire process of the two and a half months worth of job searching, like I ran across 83 documented recruiter instances where they reached out to me for like a developer role and 20 plus probably other recruiters that I've like responded on my cell phone, but I forgot to like document. And the biggest takeaway with recruiters is from my experience, I got zero traction, no follow-up interview from any of my recruiter um, contacts. And this usually happens because they come at you with like a role that requires three, four, five years worth of experience. They still reach out to you. They look at your LinkedIn. They look at your resume. They know you're not a good fit, but they still waste your time because they need to um, hit their metric numbers. I still recommend leveraging recruiters but don't put too much hope into it and don't invest so much time into it because these recruiters are looking for more senior developers and then it's just the nature of a sales job right they just have to knock on several doors to see if it if there's an opportunity hidden behind one of those doors as for software developer roles i hit up 665 roles and then it was just straight up job applications, right? Because I was doing other things like preparing for technical interviews, learning skills, uh, keeping up with the skills that I've learned during my self-taught developer route, and also like brush up on data structures and algorithms. So of the 665 software developer roles that I applied for, this could be front end, back end, full stack JavaScript roles, I got 42 um feedbacks or like people reaching back out and say hey we're interested in talking to you and of that 42 i had uh around 20 initial interview rounds so it could be either with a recruiter or the hiring manager i also had around probably more than 15 take-home technical assignments this can mean like building some sort of small project or um, doing like a coding uh, assignment or interview, technical interview online. Yeah, probably like 20, like 15 that I could, that I've recorded that were actual technical assignments where you build a small project. And then I didn't count as diligently like the amount of coding assignments, online coding assignments that I had to take during that time. I had three final onsite interviews from all of that. And then out of all of that, I only got zero offers. <laughs> so it's really tough, like trying to find a software developer role when you're a junior developer, um, whether you're self-taught or you're coming from a coding bootcamp. The market is super hard, super intense. That is why I recommend having some follow-up or backup roles that you want to apply for. So next we'll be talking about the stats from my product manager hunt. So I applied for around 290 product manager, associate product manager roles. And of that, I got around 11 interview responses saying that, hey, the hiring manager wants to speak with me. But of that 11, I only got six actual initial interview rounds. Of that six, I had two take-home assignments. And from those take-home assignments, I actually had two final round interviews or on-sites. And then from those on-sites, I actually got one offer. It was for a hybrid product manager and software developer front-end focus type of role. But ultimately, I ended up not taking that role because 
the pay was extremely low. Like it was for an infant size startup. They were just around for a year and a half and they just needed people to do, to wear multiple hats and they were just not paying them well. And then lastly, I apply for other type of roles, right? This would be technical customer facing roles like being a sales engineer, customer success, and roles such as that. And of those 23 roles that I applied for, I got four initial responses, actual two um, interviews that actually um, fired off, right? Like I actually had a chance to talk to like a recruiter or a hiring manager of those 23 roles that I applied for. And finally, from those um, two initial interviews, phone screens, I actually had one on-site, and from that on-site, I actually got an offer as a technical customer success manager. Or the way you can understand this is you can think of it as kind of a sales engineer, or you can probably rename it as a customer success engineer. Working um, in a customer-facing capacity, doing like project product management in between, and also the technical side, which for this role involved me building proof of concepts using JavaScript, React, and pulling business intelligence data using SQL. So a quick recap, I applied to probably around a thousand plus roles. Um, and then of those thousand plus roles, including the recruiters that I try to contact and uh, generate job opportunities from, I only had two offers, right? One was kind of, it, it was a real offer for a hybrid product manager software developer role, but it just didn't make sense because it didn't pay well for me to live in San Francisco. And the second one, I actually took the offer because it was um, a technical customer success manager and it played to all my strengths, right? Like I like the project management, product management aspect of um, being a software developer. Um, I enjoy or already have a background in a customer facing role doing sales. And lastly, I love using React, right? And working on a front end. So that was really, it was really a great role, um, a great offer for me to accept. And that's all I have for this video. In the next one, we'll be talking about the um, job search template that I use to keep track of all my opportunities and all the best practices. So keep staying tuned for that video and it's gonna be coming up soon.